All right, you guys, welcome to day 18 of the 30 Day Sober Challenge. Um, yesterday, we spent time talking about the lies, right? The lies that we tell ourselves. And today, in the next couple of days, we're really going to kind of dig into this identity of who we are that we're not defined, right, by by our past. We're not defined by the fact that we struggle or we have misused alcohol in a way. We're not defined by by our failures or those things, okay? Uh, so the next couple of days, they're going to really build on themselves. And I, I hope that you've been able to discover and see that through this whole 30-day process, it's building, right? We started really at the beginning with this admitting where we are and admitting that, that we do have an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. And then we kind of move into different ways that we can begin to deal with that with staying inside of your hula hoop and having a gratitude and some real basic things. But now we're going to dig into this inner core of who you are. So today, day 18, letter to the imposter. What is that? What does that even mean? What does that look like? So, so here's what I believe. So some people can call it um, my ego or my false self or whatever. I like the term imposter. Um, and let me explain this to you a little bit more clearly what the imposter is. See, so you and I, from childhood, whether you think and believe you had the most amazing childhood ever existed or you had a very destructive, terrible, terrible upbringing in childhood, but something happens with all of us. See, I, I grew up in a really great household. Um, parents that loved me well, sister and I were really connected. We had, a, we had a really great relationship. I grew up inside of the church and um, for me, I'll share my story. So for me, I um, stumbled across pornography. And I liked it, and it did, it triggered something in my brain, and so I found that my my best friend's dad had some, and so I would sneak in it and I would look at it, and then I felt a lot of shame and guilt about it, um, and so I began to hide this part of me, and so this imposter though began to creep in, and this imposter for me was this per, this imposter that was this idea that. If I put on this face like everything's okay on the outside, I can hide this internal turmoil that's happening inside of me. So I would perform. I was an amazing soccer player, captain of the team. I always was liked by kind of everybody around me. I always kind of put on the, this great outside. And there was a lot of truth to that. Don't get me wrong. But there was a part of that that was this imposter playing a role. And every single one of us has an imposter that played a role in our past, that got us to where we are. And another way to look at it is it's a coping mechanism. So maybe you came from a very traumatic household and there was lots of trauma in your life. And so you began to use something like alcohol or drugs and something. And you began to live into this identity of that was who you were. Because in the beginning, it actually helped. See, we don't, we don't introduce this imposter into our lives unless it actually began to work at the beginning. But see, what happens is this imposter then takes over, and that is who you become, not who you really are. So today, letter to the imposter. What I want you to do is, see, we, we can't just pretend that that didn't happen, that wasn't in our past. We can't just go oh yeah, I had these behaviors and I acted this way as a coping mechanism and now I'm going to disregard it. And another thing that does not help and doesn't work either is when we have this coping mechanism and this thing of the past or this imposter of who we were and who we are and we try to ignore it or we just get really angry at it. See, what I want you to do in a letter, and I did this some time ago, but I wrote a letter to myself to that imposter me. And I started out by thanking it. And this is how, this is how kind of my letter went. Um, Dear imposter, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being there for me when everything in the world seemed a little chaotic, when I really struggled with shame. Thank you for being there for me. You got me through some really difficult times. But what happened was I began to live into you, this imposter, more than I began to live into who I truly am. And so I want to tell you something, imposter.
philosopher that I want to say thank you for being there when I needed you, but I'm letting you know I don't need you anymore. That I am going to move forward without you. And that as I move forward more into who I am and my identity, more and more you will shrink and get smaller and smaller in my world. So thanks for the past, but right now I don't need you in the future. And my letter was probably more elaborate and a little bit more than that. But what I was doing was I was recognizing and thinking this part that helped get cope and get me through a season of life. But I don't want to hold on to that anymore. And we don't want to hold on to the imposter. I don't want you guys to be this fake sense of who you thought you had to be. Because in the next couple of days, we're going to keep exploring more of who you are today, who you are in the inside. What is the core of you? What is your identity? So your identity isn't that you struggled with alcohol or that you struggle with alcohol. That's not who you are. Now, alcohol may be a, have been part of the imposter that let you cope with life. Yeah. But does that define you? You can let it or you can choose not to. And one of the ways to choose not to is we need to recognize it, thank it, and also tell them that it's going to get smaller and shrink down. And you and who you truly are is going to grow. So you guys today, the challenge is I want you to spend time writing this letter and really dig in deep, dig to the core, dig to the heart of going, what has been this imposter in my life that I have let fill a void in me because it, is, it helped me deal with all the hurts, the fears, the anxieties. It helped me deal with my childhood and I became this person that I know is not me, but I, you know, I want you just to explore that imposter, who it is. So make sure you guys, if you are on day 18 today and this is your day that you're in, jump in because I feel like this is a day that has a lot of questions around it. People have a tendency to go, I want to process this out more with you. So make sure to jump on the Zoom. Um, make sure to just go, hey, I'm on day 18. I'm in this imposter day and I'm, I'm struggling to figure out how to write this letter. I'm struggling to figure out what this looks like for me. Um, always, always have the freedom to email me on this. Zach at bravingthejourney.com. Just email and say, hey, Zach, I'm on this day. I'm right here. Help process this out a little bit more with me. But this is a very critical day because we are recognizing the past, but in the next few days, we are going to go, who am I now in the present moment? Okay? Once again, you guys, I am so proud of you. You don't have to do this alone, and I'm glad that we get to do this together. Good job.